Welcome everybody to the Inside Exclusives Group. I am Woody Walters and you're here for the Photoshop Tip of the Week. So let's get started here. You're also here in Learn Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, I, I was playing around and I've been working on something that I call image mapping. And this is basically hand drawn everything in here. And so I started out with... Um, drawing this outline right here for my highlights and you can see that I think it's this one right here and then I filled that with a texture and then I distorted it and did some other things this is going to be kind of an advanced little tip but but I want you to really pay attention to it don't worry about trying to create something like this but what I want you to get is how uh, I'm doing creative masking and how I'm working with tonal values to make everything fit together within this image and so once I hand drawn that in and people I'm not a real good artist and also I use a mouse you know so I came in here and I just drew this shape real quick and then I just filled it with different textures and so I came on over here and we did it from here to about there and so I did something like that there and then when I wanted extra I came on over here and filled that in you know and I started to draw all this then I filled that with a texture and then I distorted it but what makes it look real here is then I went in and started doing some creative masking in here I also did some creative cloning you can see right here that on this ridge this doesn't look real to me so I made another layer and I just spot cloned using the clone tool and then using one of my um, ink brushes and so I come on over here and I'm just going to try to recreate that for you so we're going to turn that layer off we're going to create another layer I'm going to source it from right here boom and now I'm going to spin my wheel and I want this to be jagged so it looks like boom I didn't like that. I don't like where, where the highlight is. So let me go right there. Good. Let's bring that up. Boom. Good. I like that. Now let's spin that a little bit. Go about right. Even smaller. Right in there. I'm going to come over here. And I like that highlight there. So I'm going to build that up. Good. Now look. Now I can rotate that. And just bring this down. So it builds that ridge. Yes, good. We gotta do one more. Good, look at that. It looks like a ridge going up there. See that? Now look at right here. This is too drawn in. See how this is all broken up? That's me using, again, I'm using basically the same style brush. I'm gonna rotate that a little bit. And now I'm gonna find that layer. And I believe that is this one. Yeah, I'm going to come over here to my mask area, and I just want to break that up a little bit. Boom, boom, good. Now I'm going to spin that some more, and we're just going to break it up in here. Boom, good, and then we're going to break it up quite a bit right there. Good, and now let's flip it. Let's rotate it. We're going to come right into about there. I do that. I'm gonna get rid of that altogether. Look at that. Look at that. And so what I did is went around this whole thing and did that to this whole piece here. The same thing over here. You can see where that's at. Let's go back to here. Let's grab another brush. This could be cool. Let's reduce that down. Good. Let's come over here. I'm going to rotate that. Just want to break this line up. It's too straight. Good. Let's look at this. good and people this is just different ways that, that I'm playing here that's even better look at that now something else I want you to see if you look at the entire image 
And right now I'm going to turn this guy off. I want to get the illusion of aerial perspective. So I want, you know, when he's turned on, yes, I want him to, to be very clear. But I want him to look like he's a little bit more out in the distance. And I want her to even look at it a little bit more. And so if I come up here and I start looking at this, I've got, and we'll color her. We've got one, that's the primary. I'm going to leave that one on. Two, three, four different copies of her in order to get the tonalities that I want out of that. One, look at the bottom of her dress. Two, see how that's getting darker? Three, then four. And you can also see that I'm playing with different opacities. This one's only at 57%. This one's at 32%. This one's at 30%. And that one's at 30%. But all of them together is what's making up boom 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 the final image here boom 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 and look at the tonal values boom I'm just playing just those two extra layers to give me that subtle hint of tonal values and so you know people it's all about the details everything is about the details and yes I've spent an awful amount of time on this image and I still got to do probably two different shoots with people because I want all these people standing in here with swords and spears and all leading up here I'm gonna have probably about three people here I want four or five people here and then I want one main person here um, I might put some skeletons in here like they got a broken back or something I'm just playing off this I'm gonna call this skull mountain and that's why you have all these skulls and if you guess how many skulls and get it right you're gonna get my next set of brushes for free but look at you know these are just using the particle brushes and some shattered brushes to make it look like the ground is is breaking away from here and so it, it's really taken a lot of time to get this image up and running and yeah it's 40 by 40 and it's all about details so what I hope that you get out of this today is that you know I don't care if you're doing something really simple like the particle brushes and you're just doing a face how you use those brushes and how you determine the tonal values is critical to the onset of the entire image here so I'm just going to come down here You know, this is where the image was, or is, and this is where the image started out to be. And you can see this is just all hand drawn in. And this is, image was at its infant stage, and it's really rough. But then, it, you know, I was going to make it come out to here, and I was going to have the woman here, and, you know, the people here. But it's not looking realistic. Where this, paying attention to my masking and detail and tonal values really is coming together and so I'm very excited about this I think this is gonna be a whole new style for me in creating my future images that that I'm gonna create but it's all paying attention to detail and the same thing with here with the sports image what's making this is not so much yeah the image is, is kind of cool but it's the way that I masked out the image and then making the particle brushes and everything else work within them. Look at the white that I just added here. And that's so subtle, but it's so apparent in, in the image. It, it makes the image. And then I added white here too. Look at just the difference between these two layers. Boom and boom. That's what makes the image. Boom and boom. And so people, I guess what I'm trying to, to say is pay attention to your details you know let your thoughts run and look at the image and say what does it need you know what what can I do to make this look more realistic what can I do to make this blend more with my colors and so on and a lot of you also ask about how do I choose my colors 90% of my colors that I choose 
I pick from my image, you know, I, I use the blues from them, I'll use the skin tones from them, um, I might enhance the skin tones, I'll make this, you know, look at the skin tone and say, okay, I can make this more orange and so on and so forth. And so, yes, it's all about the details. And so I really want you to start paying attention to your details that, that are in your image, you know, let it, the image simmer a, a, a bit, let, let, let it slow cook like, like a crock pot and, and you'll come back to it and then you'll realize oh I need to do this I need to do that you know again I started with this and then I went to this and I really think the image is coming together it's far from being done but it's the little details that I'm doing that are going to make the image so there's your photoshop tip of the week I hope you, you find this this, this helpful to you I, I know it's a bit scattered and so on but I just really want you to know that it's all about paying attention to the details and so until next week shoot from the heart and shoot with passion we will see you here the Photoshop tip of the week